everybody, welcome to Scotch Kitchen. It's an, another Friday, end of the week, great week it is. So, we're gonna do a quick starter because remember, we are still on that week where we're learning how to do starters. So, bear with me, put some music on the background because I'm still doing some preparation and then we can start. So, if you bear with me. Let me put up some music for you guys to listen to some music a little bit while I get ready and then we can we can start. And this is what we're preparing. I hope you can see most of it. That's just my drink. Let me move my drink away. And so that's what we're preparing today. And those are the spices. So if you just bear with me. <clears throat> Let me see who is live. My phone is still not updating yet. So just give me one second. I'm sure I'll be able to do that in a second. Okay. When the phone is still trying to update, just bear with me one second. Just listen to the music from the background for a second. And then I can come and then we can start and do our starter. Our main meal is already um, our main meal is already cooking, so that's great. So just bear with me one second, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I was just trying to taste to make sure that I can be able to see messages even if it's not coming from my phone at least I can see it um, from up there so yeah I've just said hi everybody uh, like just welcoming everybody okay so let me turn off the music because we don't need the music at the background really okay I've turned off the music completely so that we can just concentrate um i think my phone is just it just needs a little bit of updating it's going to update itself with uh with time let me just turn off a few things and 
I think will be ready to roll in a few seconds. Okay, the main reason what I'm doing, uh, why I'm doing this today, I know busy the whole week again, but we are back again to um, to our normal. So we're going to do, I'm doing a starter because I've already started um, having my main meal. My main meal is already um, cooking. My main meal is already, <clears throat> pardon me, my main meal is already cooking, but I just wanted to, <clears throat> to show you guys a live video where you can be able to see how to do a quick starter. And um, just bear with me, let's lift the camera. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. It's really, really hot because of my life, but that's okay. Okay, we're going there having the wobbles. Okay, the wobbles have stopped. Okay, so back again to reality. So my main meal is already cooking, which is ribs. I've already shown you guys how to do ribs different ways. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a quick uh, stutter. And my stutters, I'll just explain to you what I have on my platter, um, which is here. So, here you go. I have some cherry tomatoes, as you can see, and I have some chili. So, two chilies and some, just a handful of cherry tomatoes. And then I have here butternut squash and um, sweet potatoes, as you can see there. And then I have the sugar snap. My sugar snaps, oh, they're also called mug touts. Very good for stir fries as well, which we're going to do that in a second. And then I have very humongous mushrooms. So those are my mushrooms. I have three of these. So as you can see, it's really it's such a big uh, mushroom. So we're going to get rid of what is here in the middle. Hope you're able to see that. There you go. We're going to get rid of the middle bit because we only need the cover. Then I have some brass buds. These are like baby brass buds, as you can see there. And they're just, uh, just mini sausages. So we're going to have that on the side. So I'm going to do this like a vegetarian meal first for you guys to see how to do a vegetarian meal. And then immediately after that, I'm going to uh, show the guys. So I'm going to do like two uh, vegetarians and then I'm going to do one with the sausages so that you can be able to see both sides. Okay, I have some avocado here. So that's going to be like the last bit. So it's just one avocado, I've just uh, sliced it into half. And that's also going to be included in our starter. And then I have one, uh, one lemon again. I've just half that lemon. And then I have some seeds, uh, just, just a bit of sprinkle of mixed seeds. Hi, Edna Arena. Thank you, my lovely, for joining. A, a bit of sprinkle of seeds. And then uh, I have a half an onion. There you go. So that's half white onion. Then, uh, so I've shown you what we, we have here. So for the spices, I'm going to be cooking with extra virgin olive oil. And that's the olive oil that I'm going to use today. Great. And then I have some green olives. So it's just like a teen green olives. So that's what I'm going to use. That's, this is going to be part of our, um, our starter as well. And then for the spices today, I'm using the Chang, uh, Tangang seasoning. Tangang seasoning. Or Tangang, Tangang, Tangang. I don't know how you want to uh, pronounce it. But there you go. That's the seasoning I'm using. I'm using my one and my only lovely, my favorite of them all, paprika. Uh, can never miss out on Scotch Kitchen. And then we have coriander leaf. And uh, we also have garlic granules. Yeah. So those are the spices I'm going to use and then a bit of salt. So I have some salt here. So that's what I'm going to use. So... To begin with this preparation, I'm going to go on and start preparing the mushrooms. That's the first thing because we need our mushrooms to go in the oven to start cooking. Uh, because I want my, uh, my mushrooms really nice and roasted. And then everything else is going to go inside it. So, one at a time. Oh, and I'm having some um, red wine. So that's my glass of red wine. It's Happy Friday. So why not? We're having a glass of red wine and that's my mellow. It's Mellow Australia, as you can see there, uh-huh, there you go, and that's what I'm having to go. So that's what I'm having to go, so, 
let me reduce top of my board so that we can go ahead and start preparing our mushrooms so that it can we can we'll put them to roast but before we put our mushrooms to roast let's also prepare our vegetables and then we can start preparing when i start doing the stuff frying my vegetables i want my mushrooms to um to also go in the oven almost at the same time or earlier slightly earlier so that by the time i'm done with the stuff frying my mushrooms are ready and it's going it's going to be very 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 quick one so let's put everything we don't okay i'm just moving stuff because i don't need everything at the moment i just need some of the things so it's the mushrooms that's the main thing so i'll start preparing this so i'm using a small um knife so you can see there just a tiny knife and i'm just gonna scrape as much as i can off from um from inside my mushroom don't think i can be able to yeah i can actually you don't need a knife you can actually use a spoon so I'm going to use a spoon because what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to like make sort of a hole in the middle here because I want to stuff my mushrooms with my vegetable, my stuff fried vegetable. That's what I'm trying to do. I'll show you in a bit. So just bear with me one second. See if I just do this. I want to be very, very careful because I need that hole a bit. I need my mushroom to still be hollow right in the middle there. Then I'm going to chop off the stalk. So now be very careful. We don't want to destroy our mushroom. We need it whole. So just um, sort of just get rid of some of that stalk. Just be careful because it's really, really delicate um, actually. Okay. I'm going to do that again. Okay, so, and there you go. As you can see, it's nice and deep inside. There you go. Very few stuff inside because that's exactly what we want. And then I'm going to do exactly the same to the next one. Before I do that, let me try again and just get rid of this talk. Okay, mushrooms are very delicate. So just take... Um, be gentle with them when you're actually doing this because you don't want to actually damage your whole mushroom because we need it we just don't need the the sort of they look like the flowery thing the dark things inside the mushrooms you can use them other times but today we don't need them so that's why um we are getting rid of them so just bear with me getting there So if you're coming in, because um, normally I use both my phone and I use um, uh, my screen, but my phone has just gone on strike for a second. I'm going to check on it in a bit. So that's the second one done. And then we have a last one. We only have three because Tyler doesn't like mushroom. So I don't think he's going to enjoy these ones. So it's only for the three of us. So there you go. So again, this is the kind of starter you can prepare for your visitors. What I can I can actually advise you to do, um, you can do all the preparations and then just as your visitor gets in, you've given them a drink or something and given the, um, and assure them that they should be all right in the lounge or having a chat. Just nip down in the kitchen really quick and actually prepare this. doesn't take that long because it's just a stir fry and you're going to roast uh, your mushroom. That's all we are doing. So there you go. So there is another one. So a lovely, lovely hole inside there. That's exactly how we want it. So there is our mushroom. So the next thing I need to do, because I'm putting my mushroom in the oven at about 200 and um, no, about 180 degrees. Reduce that because I was uh, warming it up at 200 degrees. So I've reduced that to 180. Okay? My ribs are already there anyway. They're already cooking, so that's okay. So you need one of your oven trays, and we need to sprinkle olive oil. You need about two to three tablespoons in there. And what you need to do is try, actually, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a brush. So if you have a brush, that's good. So I'm just going to 
Okay, it's my uh, mine is sort of like a silicon. So if you have a brush, that's great. Get your brush, and you need to apply the olive oil on your mushroom. By the way, it absorbs really, really quick because that few minutes that I've just poured the um, how do you call it, the oil on here, it's absorbed it. Not all of it, most of it. So that's okay. So go ahead and do exactly the same. Line up your mushroom with the um, with your olive oil, nice and easy. Just. Be careful, you don't want to destroy your mushrooms. We need it um, as whole as possible. Okay, this is going to be a bit tricky today because I can't see as many people joining in because my phone is down. So if you join in, welcome to Scotch Kitchen. Today we are doing like a quick mushroom starter. So it's a sort of like Scotch mushrooms stuffed uh, starter. And it's mushroom and a bit of some star fried uh, vegetable and a little bit of some brass fuss to go with that as well. I've just added a little bit of oil there because I want the oil to go on through the mushrooms. There you go. Because I don't want, I'm roasting my mushrooms, so I don't want it to actually dry up here. That's why it to be nice and moist. Uh, inside as well just make sure you put that oil inside it as well that brush has actually really helped it which is good then the next step is going to be there you go lovely our mushrooms oiled both inside and out and on the side looking really nice so I'm just gonna let it stay there for a second and then I start preparing the vegetables really, really quick. So when I put the mushroom in the oven, I can also start doing um, the vegetables. Okay, so these are my French peas. So I'm going to, I had a knife here. Where is my lovely knife? I'm going to find it. It's not a big place where a knife can just disappear. There it is right in between our spices. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I normally tend to align uh, my peas and then I just chop the top and the bottom because that's the bit I don't want. So I'm gonna chop the top and I'm gonna chop the bottom. So those are like sort of the roots. Then with this, I'm going to chop them slightly smaller. These ones that I'm chopping slightly smaller, I'm going to put them in my oven uh, in the oven for them to actually roast so they're going to be beside here the rest I'm going to stuff rice I'm going to show you just just bear with me one second when I'm actually doing it so as you can see you put it together like this and then you cut off that bit and that if you have a scissor the kitchen scissor uh, you can definitely use that because it's going to be really nice and quick rather than using um so some of the uh, French peas are going to go on the stir fry and some of them are going to have them roasted with the mushrooms. So that's why I, you've seen I've just put a few in there and then the rest are going to be roasted. It's really warm today. Almost 25 degrees, which is really good. And they say the weekend is going to be lovely as well. So that's really amazing. We're looking forward for that. Okay, the next thing I need to chop off is my chili and uh, my onions. Let's see if the phone now has accepted. If the phone has accepted that we are definitely here and um, we are definitely here and we are ready to go. Oh! So if I can reduce the volume off, that's much better. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a few seconds late, but it's going to catch up with us. Okay, so the next one is my onion. I'm going to chop off my onion in very uh, small cubes because that's what we want our onions to be. Our onions also going to be part of our stir fry. So we need the cover off. 
and we need to chop this in small cubes small cubes if you can that's great if you have those um chops uh, the choppers or how do you call them those things that can normally uh you can use to chop your onions really nice and fine that's great if you don't you can just use your knife it can still do the um do the job not to worry if it doesn't cut it small the first uh, round you can do it over and over again until you achieve the small bits because that's what we are trying to achieve i'm trying to achieve like really nice and small chunks of uh, of onion not too much onion anyway that's why i've just thrown away that big chunk there don't need that and i'm just going over my onions with this so my onions are sorted my chili the chili is not going on every every uh, mushroom it's only going to go on my mushroom so i'm going to show you that as well which is amazing yeah because I love chili. I do love chili. Okay, so. I'm going to move that cloth there. And the rubbish is going to go in there. Today I have like, a, I've, I've got this thing that I'm using as a bee. Hi, Emily Gicheru. Thank you, my lovely, for joining. We are doing a quick mushroom um, starter. Stuffed mushroom st starter in Scotch Kitchen. So. I've already uh, started preparing my mushrooms. They're soon going in. So we have now, on our lovely platter of mushrooms, we have some, um, I'll lift it up in a second for you to be able to see. Oh, my nose is killing me. Just bear with me one second. It's when it's really hot down here, I get hay fever. So it's almost sort of like, an allergy but but it, it isn't really i just have like itchy eyes itchy nose my throat is itchy it's almost just like i'm having a little an allergic reaction but that state life has to still go on so i tend to try and move on away from that so if you see me going back and forth uh to uh, sort out myself don't worry i'm just right here i'm fine i'm really fine okay so here we go so we have a little bit of our french fries there on the side and then we have our mushrooms so our mushrooms are coated with some um olive oil and that's the olive oil i've just coated our mushroom with and this is going to go in the oven in a second meanwhile i've done my onions and then we have here a butternut squash and sweet potatoes ready to go in the oven and then we have our sugar snaps ready to go as well. These are going to be like a quick stuff, right? And hi, Jackie. Thank you, my lovely, for joining. And then we have our cherry tomatoes ready to go as well. But last but not least, this house, we always have to have meat. You, I'm not, we don't have vegetarians in this house. I can't be vegetarian, but not everybody else. It's going to be a big complaint. So we have some brass first. So they're just like mini sausages. And that's what we're going to be having as well. So everything is sorted. I'll go ahead and turn on my uh, my oven, my hob. Sorry, my oven is already heating up, so that's ready to go. I'm just trying to find uh, something to use so that I can turn the big hob. Voila. Okay, the big hob is ready. So I want this really hot because I'm stuff frying the stuff. So when my hob has started getting ready, my mushroom are going in the oven at two at 180 degrees until they are nice and roasted. Meanwhile, my dinner is already cooking, which um, I didn't have to start showing you again because I'm just having ribs. Uh, it's Friday, so we are having some um, ribs which I've already started grilling here. And, ooh, just some barbecue uh, ribs that are already seasoned throughout the week. So I just threw them in the oven. There they are. And because we you are, I've already shown you how to do ribs, so today the main video is just how to do the starter. So, so that's why we, uh, you see my ribs that already started like cooking 
because I don't want the boys to starve while I'm waiting. Even though they're going to have the starter, yes, but at least the dinner is going to be ready by the time I am completely done because um, they are hungry. Because we had swimming today, today's Friday, so we had the school and we had swimming. So they, they've been swimming and now they're waiting for dinner. So I'm just trying to turn this really quick so I can put them back in the oven. There you go. And my mushrooms are in there already cooking. So that's amazing. Okay. My hob, really nice and hot. We need olive oil. You need three to four um, tablespoons of, ooh, ooh, there you go. And that's going to go on. Uh, I have to try this one later. Yes, you do. It's really going to be really, really amazing. I've always seen it, but I want to try. I'm doing it slightly different from what I've, I've, I've seen. I've seen stuffed mushroom, but I didn't really like whatever was inside. So that's why I'm doing like a stuff fry. Something easy for everybody to be able to do. So I'm sure you should be able to do this at home by yourself. Because all the ingredients I'm using are easy accessible. Sweet, uh, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, uh, sugar snaps, French peas. Those are things that you can definitely be able to get anywhere. Cherry tomatoes or just normal tomatoes. Onions, you can just use any onions. You don't have to use spring onions. So, let's get on with it. So, the hob is really, really hot. And two to three tablespoons. There's our tablespoon, three to, um, two to three tablespoons of that is what I'm going to use here. I'm going to add that there and I'm going to let that because I need that really, really super hot. So I want it to start cooking a little bit. Okay, meanwhile when that is cooking, let's get ready with our olives. There you go, it's open. So we're going to have our olives there and then another thing that I go today, uh, hummus 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 sauces so i have three and these are the ones so i don't know if i can bring this closer there you can see so we have the hummus classic we have hummus and uh no it's hummus lemon and coriander hummus and red pepper hummus so i'm going to use this as dips uh on the starter so you'll see this nicely paraded on our uh on our plate just before serving so it's going to look really, really nice and amazing. If you can't find some hummus, you can make your own, um, you can make your own sauce. Or if you can't make your own sauce, you can have it with ketchup. You can have it with, um, how do you call it again? You can have it with ketchup. You can have it with some mayonnaise as well. Just a normal barbecue sauce. Just the normal sauces that we can, uh, you can get over the counter. Or you can just make yourself some chili. Uh, garlic and onion, cook that together and just add a little bit of mayonnaise and there you go, you have your chili mayo um, uh, on there ready to go. Okay, so back here, our onions are straight in, then immediately after our onion, we go with our, sorry, not cherry tomato, butternut squash, butternut squash, sweet uh, potatoes and uh, um, French beans. Those are going to go in there because those ones will take slightly longer to cook. That's why I've started with them. Let's give this baby a bit of a mix. It looks really amazing. Then get some of your sugar snaps. Just removing that because I've seen it looks a little bit weird. I love that the sugar snaps are really, really good. You don't really need to cook them. You can also just have them the way they are. But today we are having them as stuff, right? Which is amazing. You can have them in a salad or something. So, I think those are enough. Our spices are going to go last.
you don't have to give it a shake if you're not confident enough so you can just go ahead and mix it and there you go so we have our sugar snap sweet um butternut squash sweet potatoes a little bit of onion and olive oil so far on our lovely um our lovely pan for our stuff right so if you've seen the way the onions you have to let the onions because if the oil is very hot the onions are going to turn a little bit like golden brown and that's what you need so there you go because it gives it that lovely color and that's what we we want actually so after this we go with our cherry tomatoes and then go cherry tomatoes we're not chopping them off we're putting them whole the way they are Cherry tomatoes gone in there. So if that was my my dish, I would have gone ahead and put a little bit of chili in there. But I'm not putting any chili in there. I'm going to actually put some honey in there. So just to flavor it up a bit after I've done my spices. So so pardon me. So far this is what we have. So we have butternut squash, sweet uh, potatoes cherry tomatoes, uh, sugar snap, and uh, french paste. That's what we have here. Looks really nice and amazing. So for vegetarian, this is really, really good because this is proper. That's a proper vegetarian app. You can have it as a meal. We are having it as a, as a starter, but that's saying you don't have to have it as a starter. You can have it as a meal. So when that is cooking, I am going to start preparing my lovely platter where my lovely plots are where I have the rest of the things that I want to go in there. Don't forget your stuff, right? Keep on giving it a bit of a turn. We've not put our spices yet. We're going to do that. We just want that to cook a little bit. So my sauces are going to go on this lovely platter. So those are my hummus. My lovely lemon is going to go there. And my one and only avocado. I hope this avocado is actually um, good. Because we we always not lucky with avocados at all. But fingers crossed this is going to be really good. So, remember I had my seeds here. Hi Frida, thank you my lovely for joining. Remember my seeds. So we have sunflower. We have um, some raisins here. And we have, how do we call these ones? They're not cashew nuts. And they're cauliflower seeds. We have them here as well. And we have these red ones. I need to find out exactly which of these red ones here. As you can see, I want to find out. Um, they're almost like berries. I need to find out exactly what type of berries they are. Add that onto your stuff, right? Keep on giving it a mix. I'm going to show you in a second how amazing it actually looks. Don't forget. Our mushrooms are actually roasting down there, so don't forget them. Don't abandon them. Okay, so far, here we go. Our lovely stuff, right? So if you look keenly, you can see our seeds that have just gone in there. And we have sugar snap, sweet potatoes, uh, butternut squash. We have cherry tomatoes, French uh, peas, and a mix of seeds in there. Only um, we just use olive oil to actually cook that mixture. That's why it looks really, really amazing. We're gonna put some honey to just glaze it a little bit. Okay, so as that is cooking, I'm just trying to get some of my little dishes so that I can put the rest of the things that I need. Okay, so. is cooking really really well so now i'm going to start adding my spices i'm going to start with the garlic granules if you don't have garlic granules you can just have a clove of garlic but that will go in with the onions not at the same time where my spices are going and then i'm going to have my coriander leaf there you go coriander leaf and my sprinkle of that as well in there and then I am going to go with my lovely, my one and only paprika. My sweet paprika. The love of my life. The love of my life. And then we have the tangerine seasoning.
seasoning. You don't really need to use this last seasoning because whatever I put there should be enough. But if you love seasoning like myself, go ahead and put that favorite. The other favorite seasoning you have, just add it up there and make you stir fry even more amazing. Last but not least, to make this even more amazing, where are you, my sweet honey? I'm gonna use some honey. I'm just gonna glaze this up with some honey now. If you have some carrots, it's good to use them as well. If you don't, don't worry about it. Let's glaze it. The essence that's coming out of this stuff right now is amazing. Really, really amazing. Oh my God. Oh my, 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 this smells nice. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Just look at that. The essence that's coming out of all those spices that I've just put together. It's amazing. One like to you, it is definitely, definitely amazing. So, I'm going to put my chili as well on here. So my chili is going to be part of my lovely um, side dishes and then this is my olives just getting rid of some of that water just bear with me i don't need the water in the olive that's what i'm trying to get rid of So I'm going to let it cook there for a few minutes 
and I'm just gonna lift for you my plate of my stir fry. It looks epic. I won't lie to you. It looks really, really amazing. I'm gonna lower the, the, the screen in a second, not yet. I'm gonna do that in a second. I'm just gonna prepare, I'm gonna also prepare my, um, how do you call it again? Lovely scholar, clumsy scholar. I am going to do a quick preparation of, um, I'm going to do a quick preparation of, uh, how do you call it again? Of my avocado and lemon because I need that also here so I'm going to do a quick version of that meanwhile sausages cooking lost one not to worry and then remove the mushrooms Ooh. oh they look amazing they look so amazing Scotch kitchen. Only me. I'm the only one allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. That's really, really naughty. Okay. So, there are my dips. So, I'm going to show you roughly how you can actually um, serve this and um, basically dress your lovely table when you have your guests ready to go. Ready to go. By the way, my brass bus are cooking really, really quick. They don't take long to cook at all. So now, because you can see the smoke coming out, I'm going to add a little bit of oil there. This one tablespoon should be enough. Those will come handy in a second. You know what's making that noise? It's my sausages. And the main reason why they're making the whistling sound is because they they really like the cover is really tight and they're trying to cook and bust out. So I'm going to use a knife to poke them so that they can release all the juices in there. And then I'm not going to have that whistling sound anymore. There you go. an added advantage you don't really need the sausage bit so that is just a by the way so if you can't find sausages don't worry about it the main thing here is our stir fry and our mushroom that's like the main 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 thing everything else is just a by the way so don't worry yourself if you can't find um if you can't find how do you call it again if you can't actually uh, add in the uh the sausages on your starter okay so i'm ready to go ready to go meaning i'm ready to start serving um serving up this stuff so let's get this so this is what i'm going to use to serve up my mushroom Drain off that um, juice that is inside there and you want your mushrooms at the end of the plate. Drain off the second one as well. The one that's at the end of the plate as well. Because with the mushrooms, as they cook, they have um, like sort of like a juice in it. And that is what we are actually... Um, I'm just draining off back onto the pan. Those sausages are definitely done. Actually. I am going to move it right in the center. Don't worry, I'm going to...
to move the camera um, down for you to be able to see the base. So don't worry about it. If you can't see at the moment, you will definitely see it in a second. Okay, my roasted um, French beans are going immediately at the bottom of the mushrooms. And I'm actually supposed to use a spoon here. I'm using a fork, which is not really appropriate because it's it's going to do uh, the thing that I'm always like a little bit irritated with. So I'm going to start like cleaning up immediately after that. But just bear with me. I'm sure you know that by now. That the tiny little things are always the ones that like really irritate me. Which is really unnecessary because it's not supposed to really. But it does. So everybody is different. Everybody has that one thing. That one thing that really, really gets into their nerves. And me is just the tiny things at the corner, like now that lovely small thing there. Okay, I'm going to have my brass first right at the corner there, next to my um, mushroom. My end mushroom is not going to have brass first because that's going to be just like vegetarian. For me to just show you how you can actually uh, do this. Hi Terry, thank you my lovely for joining. Okay, so... I'm going to lean you over for you to see this bit where I'm actually uh, doing the mushrooms as in serving it on each plate so that you can definitely see exactly uh, what I'm doing so that if you want to join in one of these fine days and um, make sure like your guests enjoy the lovely dining in, they can definitely enjoy that. Okay, so my platter is almost done. We're going to use that in a second. So, hope you're ready. I'm going to do that. I'm going to lower the camera. And as you can see, you don't need to see the end bit there. Let's see. I think that's, that should be okay. Bit of a shake, but that's okay. Okay, so... We have our first plate here, as you can see. So far, what I've done with both the plates, I've actually um, served um, the mushrooms and the French peas and the two sausages there. So the next bit I need to do, I actually need to um, serve... I need my lovely small plates at the end there. I'm going to move the mushroom again, so just bear with me. We're going to do this movement back and forth, back and forth, but that's, we're going to get there. Because again, if you want to do this at home, I know you've never done it before, so it's going to be one of those things that you're just trying out. So why not? Why not just be wild and definitely try something new? Play with the, whatever you have in the, in the home. Uh, so that it can actually look amazing and stuff. So, my lovely small things, um, bowls at the end there, they're going to have some of the, um, how do you call it again, olives. So I'm going to put some olives there. Again, make sure you ask your guests. Don't just assume they like olives. Just make sure you ask them. If they like it, they can have a side dish of olives. If they don't like it, uh, fair enough, you don't have to put any olives for them. Okay. I'm topping up my... There you go. So, so far, so good. Making space for you to see everything. We're getting there. So, our next bit is going to serving our... One and only stuff, right? As you can see, it looks really, really nice and amazing. Yeah. And just before I actually serve it, I'm going to take a really quick picture of it because I didn't take a picture um, of it when I was actually um, putting it on this lovely uh, plate. So that we can have something to show off on our, uh, on our page when we are actually... Putting down the pictures so that everybody else can definitely see the pictures. Okay, so hi Auntie Betty, hi George, hi Terry, 
Uh, hi, Greg Odera. Hi, Joe Jobuya. Hi, Sarah Yamo. Hi, Auntie Betty. Thank you, lovelies, for joining right on time where we are about to serve our, our starter. So what I'm going to do now, I'm serving our starter. So we have our base, which is the mushroom. So we have our roasted mushrooms and we have our roasted French paste. Then we have two brass and we have a little bit of um, olives and that is at the end. So the next thing I'm going to do, I am going to serve this stir fry right inside the mushroom. I'm going to try as much as possible so that it can go, it can be right inside there. If it doesn't go in there, not a problem. So you will have a little bit of it just outside. Remember, we don't need so much of it. We just need a little bit of it because it's a starter again. So it's almost just like a taste. That's what we need. Uh, we need our, our guest or uh, whoever you're preparing it for to just actually have a taste of every little thing that you've just actually prepared uh, for them. So. It looks really nice it smells really nice as well and then I'm going to add this to the last one hope you're able to see and we're gonna garnish this one as well so as for the last one remember that is for the, the vegetarian so the person who doesn't actually um, eat um, the sausage so that's the last one that I've just put there so I'm going to show off that in a second for you to definitely um, see that. It looks really, really plain, but even though it looks really plain, it also still looks amazing. Before I actually show off that, I'll just prepare my avocado. So just bear with me and get a knife and I need to chop this avocado so that it can also take a bit of a pride on our lovely, uh, our lovely plate. Just bear with me. Actually needed to put a little bit of music on the background for you to be able to to hear a little bit of uh, music there but again we are about to be done so it doesn't really matter I put some music at the beginning of it so uh, for people to actually because I was doing other stuff um, at the same time just before I actually started the video today so um, that's why so so far that's what we have and then you need your um how do you call that lemon so you need a little bit of lemon and you want to sprinkle your lemon just across your starter just a little bit of lemon just across your starter and we're going to proudly sprinkle some of um that chili remember the chili that's going to go on the vegetarian one but the rest we're going to have a little bit of a paprika and that's just going to go so that it can garnish the meal, the whole of the meal. So we have a little bit of paprika there so that you can just garnish the meal. Just sprinkle it. It doesn't matter. You've just seen me sprinkle it, uh, sprinkling it all over. I didn't like get something to use to make sure that I've just sprinkled it the right way. No, it doesn't matter. Just sprinkle that paprika in. Okay, so. Uh, Sarah, hello, hello, beautiful, hello, my lovely, and then we have Auntie Betty, hi, mama, and then okay, Dima Berhan, keep it up, most gitter, I will do that, my lovely, that's, uh, hi, uh, that's my auntie saying hi, mama, I can see you, uh, you're going, no, you're doing well, keep it up, I should say hi to the rest, I'm doing really well, I could actually translate that, I'm never good with that, but I, I can give myself a clap for that. I will actually be able to, uh, to translate that. Okay, people. So, so far, at the farthest end, this is not a vegetarian meal. As you can see, we have our... Um, I'm going to do this. I hope you're able to see that. So, we have our, our sausages at the end there. So, that's definitely not a vegetarian meal. As you can see, we have all the other um, stir fry and you see our mushrooms at the bottom there trying to carry as much as possible. And then uh, we have our um, olives as well. 
garnishing it at the, at the corner there and it looks really really amazing a little bit of avocado as well just there we've already sprinkled some of that lovely um how do you call it again lemon we've uh, sprinkled a little bit of lemon on it there that's why it looks really nice and um really nice and wet so i'm just trying to move uh, the light so that we can have like a proper uh, light for you to be able to definitely see this properly so again that is also not a vegetarian uh, that is not a vegetarian one it's a meat one because we have our sausages there we have our stir fry and it is on a bed of our mushroom and uh, as you can see there we have our um, uh, olives at the corner again to just help in so again this is just a starter to us you can have this as a male meal i say this can be a good meal for um somebody who's vegetarian i'm just gonna put that back there and i am gonna turn this around i'm sorry when i have this thing it has to be the same has to be the same so now to our lovely vegetarians and there we go so this is the vegetarian uh, meal as you can see i've not put any sausages at all there all we have we have our stuff right a little bit of garnished uh, paprika to garnish it then we have so on our stuff right we have uh, sweet potatoes we have a peanut um sorry butternut squash we have um french peas we have a uh, sugar snap we have a little bit of olives at the corner and then we have our avocado there. Then we've sprinkled a little bit of a lemon on it to just make sure it's not dry. It actually really, really tastes well. That's why we have there. So again, this can be a vegetarian meal. You can have a dash of maybe rice on the corner if you want to have it as a meal. If not, you can have it the way it is. We have an extra dish here of stir fry. So again, for anybody who's vegetarian, there you go. You have your vegetarian meal right in front of you. And what I'm going to do, let me put the vegetarian one in the middle and then I put the rest, uh, the rest on, uh, on the side so that we definitely know which one is which. Okay, so there we go. So that's the middle one now. That's the uh, vegetarian one. And then the end, the two ends are not vegetarians. Okay, we have our lovely side, um, uh, I can say platter dish on the side here. And we have sauces. So you can have this as well on your table. Actually, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move my camera off my, uh, my stand so I can bring down the camera around for me to just explain further about my side plate that has, um, sorry, I can explain further about the side plate that has uh, the other sauces, uh, the hummuses. So we have different hummuses there today. And um, just let me get my bit of paper that oh there it is that has the exact information so that i don't mess it up so that you can definitely uh, if you want to get the hummuses you can definitely do and uh one two and here we go it's coming let me do where there's enough light. So I'm, I'm just trying to make sure you can actually get the, um, the proper light for you to be able to um, actually see the, uh, the dishes properly. So as you can see, so that, that is uh, our lovely sort of my hands are a bit shaky, but just bear with me. I'm trying to do two things at the same time here. I'm a woman. I'm supposed to be able to do this. So just bear with me. Okay, back to uh, back to reality, not shaking. So as you can see there, that's our stir fry. And this is not the vegetarian one. This is the one that has the sausages at the corner, as you can see there. But the middle one, this is the one that is vegetarian, as you can see. So there's no meat at all on this completely it is just strictly vegetarian then on the corner here we have our leftover stuff right so if somebody wants a little bit more they can definitely go for seconds or parts or whatever they want to call it they can definitely do that and go to that so this is my lovely platter that i was trying to explain to you 
so at the farthest end we have olive um olives and then on our right hand side which is your left if i'm not wrong we have some chili there's the chili we have a little bit of an avocado so i have avocado lemon and then these lovely three beautiful stuff here are our hummuses so the first one and which is this one ooh, ooh, ooh. this one here so that's lemon and coriander hummus this one here is red pepper uh, hummus and that is just the basic uh, classic hummus mm -hmm. yeah so that is our lovely plotter that is going to go with our starter so you can as well carry your lovely platter on your table when you're actually serving this meal to um to either your guests your family whoever you're making the uh, the meal for you can definitely carry um the the, um, the lovely platter as i call it so so there we go i hope you've definitely enjoyed that Just having a little bit of a moment of silence for you to just take in as much as possible before I turn the camera around, which is now. Okay, so just bear with me one second again. And I mount back the camera. I'm, I'm getting, I'm really trying my best at this. I'm really becoming a proper, uh, how do you call it? Uh, like sort of like a presenter, very first presenter, cameraman. Because I'm doing it all. Okay, guys. So, as you have seen, our starter. I hope it wasn't that shaky. I've tried. I hope it wasn't that shaky. You've actually seen it was just a quick stuff, right? With roasted mushrooms and roasted French peas, and then uh, bedded together. So the mushroom is the bed, and everything else goes on top of the bed, and it's basically it's been laid on top of the mushroom. So if you go into the restaurant and they tell you the starter today is um, roasted mushrooms uh, with the French French peas, and that is actually uh, laid down and bedded with uh, stir fried a uh, mixed vegetable. That's what we've just prepared here. So you can as well have that posh meal in your own home without going to that posh restaurant. You're going to have three course, yes, three course, but there's your first course. So again, I hope you really, really definitely enjoyed uh, doing that. You're most welcome to go back and watch the video and try and do it. As I said, so today we're having this. I'm having a glass of wine with my stutter, uh, my mellow. Let me just show you. For the people who didn't uh, say it, so that's what I'm having uh, for tonight. So that's Melo from Australia. There you go. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Where we are. So that's what we're having today. We will start and then we're having our main meal. Our main meal is some roasted um, ribs. I did have to show you that from the beginning because we've done that before. So I just put it in the oven for that to start cooking. So by the time I'm done with this, it's just going to be like a quick one with, uh, with some rice and uh dinner is actually um served oops right on time not really my lovely medios we are actually uh summarizing it you know right on time almost almost but not really right on time so if i can just uh read the quick comments from here so we have sarah yamo hello hello beautiful hello my lovely and red anti betis and then we have nyamburu and jiru uh, Wanjiru, yeah, Yame, thank you, my lovely. Um, Clement, thank you, my lovely, for joining. Judy Akinyamosi, you're most welcome, my lovely. Thank you very much for joining. And then we have Mediash, my lovely. Today, you're slightly late, but better late than never. So, again, always welcome a Scotch Kitchen, and we can learn that. So, I'll put this on the page for you to actually recap on it. And I'm just going to write down in simple terms what we have on our stir fry so that you can know before i actually put um uh, i put the technical like bedded and dressed uh recipe so thank you very much again for watching you guys i hope you've really really enjoyed uh this startup and again we are on that uh track of making more starters so 
Fridays, it seems, is my best uh, day because during the week, it's it's impossible. I won't lie to you now. I'm really, really super busy. And then I have to come back, sort out the boys' activities, and then that's when I come down and prepare dinner. So normally when I'm coming to prepare dinner, I don't have time to actually do the nitty-gritty the way I do with the Scotch Kitchen video. I just, it's, it's automatic. I just do it. By the end of it, that's when I remember, oof, I was supposed to do a video. But again... On Fridays, I chill out because uh, what I'm doing tomorrow is not that hectic. It's just something lined up, so it's not that bad. That's why I'm able to come back after swimming on Friday and just lay down for you to be able to understand and watch it. So if you missed this video, you can watch it back again on our page. We are also uploading more videos on our YouTube uh, page, so you can definitely subscribe to Scorch Kitchen on YouTube. You're most welcome. And apart from that, Keep on uh, inviting more of the people on our page and let's keep it real as usual. So that said, you have a lovely, lovely Friday and have a lovely weekend. I hope I will be able to either see you before the week begins or if not, uh, keep on up with our page. You see the pictures and I will definitely try and do another video uh, next Friday. That said, bye-bye guys. Have a lovely one.